Good morning, good morning, good morning. I got up this morning getting myself prepared to go to work. But as I was rising to my feet and just thanking God for allowing me to see another day, I read this book. A friend of mine who passed away a couple of years ago had given it to me. And I go back to it every now and then when I'm thinking about her, Sister White. She uh, she was a very close friend that I met um, during the time when I uh, had first become First Lady uh, because my, my husband was a pastor. And um, of 32 years, he was a pastor. Um, and six of those years, I was... I was married to him, but I met her during that time and she had come from Mississippi and she would always tell me, you good enough, you're good enough, you're good enough. So when a person is telling you that and telling it to you out of love, they know that there's a part of you that feel like you're not good enough, right? So she gave me this book. And I'm going to show it to you. Jesus Calling, as you see. And um, she said, every day you read that book for reassurance, along with your prayer and your reading of your Bible, right? So this morning, I just wanted to share this with you before I start talking about my subject title of when God whispers into the ears of somebody else. He whispers your name into the, in the ears of someone else. And so I, I listen to this, y'all. It says, thank me for your problems. Thank me for your problems. As soon as your mind gets snagged on a difficulty, bring it to me with thanksgiving. I'm going to stop right there. Bring it to me with thanksgiving. Sometimes our hearts can get so heavy, and God knows all about it. He knows all about it. But he whispers your name in the ears of somebody else because he chooses those who he wants to step in and help you. He chooses those who he wants to give you his word. He chooses those who he knows that he can use during a time of your difficulties. That's what I like about said, thank me for your problems. See, God already know that those situations was going to come up in your life. He know every situation that was going to come up in my life. And he continues to let us know that he never left us. He never forsaken us. And you know, sometimes I know we get a little weary. Have you ever been to a point where things just seem so heavy in your life that you couldn't see your way. You ever been to that point? See, that's where I was. That's where I was. I had a lot of things going on. And if we all are honest with ourselves, there are points in your life when you have so much going on. Can't nobody help you but God. You can have money and money not be what you need. I am being honest. You can have money and money is not what you need. You might need a word. You might need some comfort. You might just need somebody to hold your hand. You just might need somebody to understand you. It's not always money because money can't fix everything. But see what God does, he already knows what you need. So guess what? He whispers your name in the ears of someone who can help you. He send them with what you need. And you know what? Sometimes, let me be honest here. Sometimes we feel like people have forgotten about you. Everybody has not forgotten about you. Sometimes people's lives get so busy and so congested that they got so much going on, that attention that they want to give you at that time, they can't because they got so much going on themselves. But it does not mean they've forgotten about you. 
It just means that in their situation right now, God can't send them for it. So he sent somebody else for it. He whispered to you because he whispers your name in their ears. So guess what? I, I made a post yesterday on my Facebook, just Electra James, and he dropped that in my spirit. After I was talking to my young granddaughter of 12 years of age, and I was telling her, you have a lot of skills, but you got to perfect your gifts. But you can't do that when you want to hang around people Listen to me closely, because that's for us adults, too. You want to hang around people who eat trouble for lunch. Some people eat trouble for lunch every day. But you got to eat bre no for breakfast. You got to do that. No, I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not going to tolerate that. No, I'm not going to go along with that. No, I'm not going to mistreat people. I'm not going to do that. You know why I'm not going to do that? Because I'm better than that. And everything that people tell you, you can't do. When God say, do all things in Christ Jesus, you can get some things done. Things are possible. Things are possible. But the reason why we block our blessings, the reason why we will sit down on our blessings and our potentials and everything, our goals, our purpose, our visions in life, because we hang around people who eat trouble for lunch. That's what they do. They're not going to change just because it's you. They're not going to change just because it's me. They eat trouble for lunch. And guess what? If they eat trouble for lunch, they're not going to be, they're not going to be of any use to you because everything they bring to you will be negative. Everything they bring to you will kill your spirit. Everything they bring forth to you will make you forget about your reasonings for life, your purpose, that vision that God gave you. You have to keep working in that and do it get hard sometimes. Yes, it does. Because he never told us that this role was going to be easy. But you got to know. You got to believe he wouldn't bring you this far just to leave you. Even when the road gets hard. You still got to watch who you allow in your life. Sometimes it's just you and God. And God planned it that way. Because he needs some moments with just you and him. But in the process, he's preparing some people to come into your life. To help you through. To get to that next level on your journey. But you got to know that you know that you know that the people that he's sending into your life are the people who want what's best for you. Because guess what? When God whispers your name in the ears of somebody else, come on, you know, just like I know, they're not there to bring you any harm. They are there to help you, to aid you, to build you up, to strengthen you, to tell you you can make it. You can make it. You're not superwoman. I'm not super, you know, you're not superman. We are human. And there are times when you go forth and there's some times when you have to step back and listen to God. And just because trouble comes, it's not going to be there always. Because guess what? I told a friend this on yesterday that I called and was praying for with, in a situation that she has going on in her life. With a, with a family member being ill. I said, see, God is at the, he's at the bottom, Jesus is at the bottom of the boat. You just got to go down there and wake him up. He at the bottom of the boat. 
He know about your trouble. See, he the one that's keeping y'all from that family from sinking. He the one that's keeping that, that family from giving up. He's the one that's keeping that family afloat because he's at the bottom of the boat. You just got to go down there and wake him up. And how do you wake him up? You go to him and you talk to him. And you let him know, God, I know that you real. I know without a shadow of a doubt, I know that you real. I know that your son is real. I know that the Holy Spirit is real. I know that that Holy Trinity, that Trinity is real. So you got to go down to the bottom of the boat. And you got to wait in your life. And you get on your knees. Or you sit on the side of your bed. Or you sit in your car. See, one thing about, one thing about it, when you go to God in prayer, look here, look here. When you go, it's anywhere. You can call on him anywhere. You can talk to him anywhere. And God will whisper your name in the ears of people that he know have what you need. So, thank him, because say right here, thank me for your problems. See, I'm better because of my problems. I'm better because of my situation. I'm better because at that point when I was lonely, he sent somebody. I'm better because when I was lost and didn't know what I was doing and working on projects and didn't really know, just, just kind of trying to figure it out. I'm better because if that had never happened in my life, if I had never tested that journey in my life, if I had never stood up and, and, and cried sometime and fell along the way, I wouldn't have never knew the things that I had to work on to perfect it. Whatever you're doing right now in your life, guess what? You got to perfect that. You got to perfect it. How do you do it? You keep just... Even when you fall. See, you got to fall in order to get back up. Don't be afraid to fall. Because if you never fall, you know you never know what it takes. You will never know what it takes to get back up. You'll never know the fight of getting back up. You never know that. The young lady that I had on last week, that I interviewed on my on my YouTube channel, Electric James Inspirational Talks, the podcast, and she has cystic fibrosis, and she talked about how she struggled with that, but how also how she didn't leave it just right there. She, how she fights to stay up, how she fights to keep going, how she fights to not let this disease take her over. My daughter has myasthenia gravis. And I'm telling you, I watch her every day fight to stay up. Fight. And that's not an easy di disease. And you can look that up in your own time on myasthenia gravis. That's my daughter that deals with that. And it hasn't been an easy road. It's just because we're trusting God in the process. My guest on last week that spoke about cystic fibrosis. It's not easy for her. It's not easy for her family. But she talked about the importance of family. Go to my YouTube channel, uh, Electra Jane's Inspirational Talk, and you can hear her story amazing and I look at my daughter every day amazing how they fight and these are these are no easy diseases but I told her and I told my daughter and as I tell people that I talk to I'm talking to and praying with and praying for look here when God knows your name he not gonna let you fall when God knows your name he going to whisper your name in the ears of some people who can come along and help you, who can come along and inspire you, who can come along and encourage you. When God knows your name, 
He whispers your name in the ears of others. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. And guess what? He whispers others' ear names in your ear. Yes, he does. So don't be afraid. I'm going to go back to this reading of your problems. Because in here, it says, as soon as your mind is snagged on a difficulty, bring it to me with thanksgiving. As soon as it gets snagged with difficulties, take it to him. Soon as it comes, talk to him about it. Soon as it comes. Don't linger on it. That's what he said. Because you're not, in other words, you're not alone. I don't, I'm not, you know how sometimes people do you. They with you so far and then they don't have nothing to do with you. You know what I'm saying. God say, I'm always there. I'm always there. All you got to do is call me. All you got to do is depend on me. All you got to do is lean on me. I never leave you, nor will I forsake you. I just wanted to come on this morning before I get out of here going to work and prayerfully this will inspire you whatever you might be going through and encourage you to just keep going. God has not forgotten about you. Wherever you at right now, God has not forgotten about you. Say that to yourself. And as you go through the day, tell somebody else, God has not forgotten about you. He has not. And guess what? When those situations rise, he'll send somebody. He will send someone to comfort you. He will send someone to support you. He will send someone to encourage you. He will send someone with whatever you need. They're going to have it. Because God going to give it to them to give to you. And sometimes it's just his word that you need to hear. But he already gave them your name. He already gave them your name. They know your name because he whispered your name in their ears. All right? Take care, have a wonderful day, and know that you are not alone. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. <laughs>